What's going on today guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jay. What we're going to do today is go over one of my favorite little exercises that I use kind of to warm up. i um, been working on my alternate picking recently because I've really been neglecting it. I've been focusing recently more on like the genty, you know, down picked rhythm stuff. Just a lot of rhythms. I've been writing a lot with rhythms and just not touching my uh, lead work, alternate picking at all. So this is something I like to use to kind of get back into the swing of that. And I thought I would share it with you because it's a little bit different. It's not just your typical, you know, three notes per string. It's not your typical Paul Gilbert thing, the old. It's not just that. By the way, we're almost at 2,000 subscribers. If you enjoy my videos and enjoy the content I'm bringing to you guys, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. So this little exercise I'm gonna show you in just a moment, it's very melodic, which is also a little more interesting than playing, you know, the four note per string stuff or whatever. And it's utilizing more than one technique. Now it's focusing on the alternate picking, but it's also incorporating cross picking. Now, if you are not familiar with that term, the way I understand it is this, and correct me if I'm wrong, but to me, cross picking is essentially alternate picking while you're moving across different strings. So there will be instances in this lick here, I'm gonna show you where you have just one note per string or just two notes per string. Uh, there might be instances in other exercises where there's even four notes per string. So it's not all three, three, threes. So it's not very you know symmetrical and it's not basically what you might be accustomed to, which makes it a little more fun because it's a little more challenging. And this exercise is probably geared toward the intermediate guitar player or somebody who just wants to go on YouTube and find someone else's exercise to try out. Now, I'm not gonna play this very fast because like I said, I'm still trying to get back into the alternate picking thing. It's been a while and I'm really rusty, but let me just play through the lick one time here for you guys now. I almost forgot, turn on OBS. Start recording. Okay, here we go. <laughs> That's it, that's the entire lick. I played it really slow and a little bit sloppy because I still, like I said, I need to work on it too. Let me break it down for you guys. First off, I wanna mention I am using this gorgeous Ibanez RGA622, uh, and I love this guitar, I haven't played it in a while. And I am tuned to D standard, so I'm a whole step down. So uh, if you wanna hit the same notes I'm playing, just move everything down two frets. So we are starting on the 12th fret of the A string, <clears throat> we're just going to call it an A note. I know it's a G, but we're going to call it A. And I'm starting with my pinky. So the very first string is just the one note per string. It's just going to be that one note with your pinky. And that's basically how the sequence starts out. There's going to be four separate little sequences within this little lick. So the first sequence is just this. That's it. So if you're new to kind of moving across the strings, you know, maybe just take that little chunk there and just play with that for a while. And also, if you're newer too, we're gonna to be using your pinky and your ring finger a lot here, so really kind of get them incorporated a little bit more uh, if you haven't been doing so. Then you've got three notes per string. So it's that's what makes it kind of a, more of a cross-picking phrase is because there's just different numbers of um, notes on each string, essentially. Then the second time around, I'm doing two notes per string on the first string. So I'm playing this in harmonic minor. Uh, so the first note of that second sequence is with the ring finger on the 11th fret. That's that sharp seventh note, that harmonic minor note. So it's... Then the third time around, we walk across the strings a little bit more. That's the fun one. It's a little more melodic. I like the way this sounds here. So it's... Okay, that's the third time through. Then the next one is like this, which it's kind of the same as the beginning, so basically. And then uh, the harmonic minor version. And then I, f I f finished it off with this. Okay. Gotta itch my nose all the time when I'm recording, of course. So like I said, um, you're moving across the strings. It's a melodic sequence, but each time around it changes just a little bit. So once you get the muscle memory of doing the alternate picking continuously while you're going across the strings, once you get that down pat, then you still need to be cognizant of the notes you're selecting each pass, each time around, because it's just a little bit different. And this kind of keeps your mind more engaged, I think, while you're practicing. You know, you can do the Paul Gilbert thing all day, 
You know, you can do that all day, you can sit and watch a movie, and that's the kind of exercise where yes, you can watch TV while you do that for an hour, hour and a half. You know, take some breaks in there, but that is good for just getting your fingers moving, getting accustomed to going from one string to another. Now we're going across uh, three, four strings. So in that third time around, we're utilizing the, the middle four strings, which is nice because we're breaking out of our typical two or three string kind of sequences. And it's just something I like to play. Like I said, just just use this as an exercise or throw it into your solo, mix it up, you know, transpose it to a different key if you want to. It's pretty basic, but again, it's just something I like to use that helps my mind get back into the concept of more of lead work type stuff. <laughs> And the last time around, I just do that slide. You could do something else like uh, whatever, tag it any way you want to. Um, yeah, it's an easy exercise, I guess, but it's something that I like to use to just for a warm up, you know, get yourself going. Again, we're just mixing up the amount of notes per string. It's not just three, three, threes all the way through. And that makes it a little more challenging to me at least um, because you're moving around on strings. Like I said, it's just an exercise to help you to navigate moving around the fretboard a little more effortlessly, uh, becoming a little more comfortable playing some of the more intricate phrases of, you know, some of your favorite players. Like for instance, Eric Johnson, he plays a lot of those licks that are kind of five note licks, repeating five note patterns, which to me are kind of difficult because it's not something I typically practiced when I was first starting playing the guitar. It just hits a little bit different. It's a little more interesting to listen to. So that's what this kind of little phrase, this whole melodic sequence was for me. Anyways, I'm rambling. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll talk to you soon. I'm out of here. See ya!